five in, in the, the kitchen. kitchen. Oh, yes. Did you know that Annie Woodrow was planning to move away? Were you always 100% sure of Annie's guilt? Is that a past tense? Are you? It's because I don't believe Annie murdered Mum. Need some water. I'll see if I can find some, darling. John Trevelyan. I swear by Almighty God that the evidence I shall give shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Mr. Trevelyan, could you tell us what you were doing before you arrived home that evening? I'd been working at the office. It had gone on a bit late, a uh, meeting with my partner and Accountant, just routine. And when the meeting was over, you drove home alone? That's right. Can you take us through, please? What happened when you went into the house? I walked through the front door. I'd parked the car in the garage. The lights were on, as normal. There was radio playing in the kitchen. So I just walked on through and... Frost! I felt for a pulse, but I knew she was dead. The injuries to her head were just... There were no signs of life? No. Now, moving on to your relationship with the defendant. Can you describe it for us, please? We were friends. Nothing more? Good friends, I thought. Quite. And can you tell us, were you aware of the defendant being attracted to you? Romantically or sexually? I suppose I wasn't sure. But you think she may have been? Miss Flint. Your Honour. You weren't sure she was attracted to you? Uh, um. I think we understand. No further questions? No questions. You don't wish to cross-examine the witness, Mr Bramwell? Uh, no, Your Honour, we don't. It looks like they're going to be adjourning. So I won't be testifying today. Let's go home. <laughs> 